Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. Today, I created this super summery, glowy look using a couple of new things. Um, first thing is this papaya pop palette from Too Faced. The second thing was this toasted pineapple face, uh, face duo with a highlighter and a bronzer. So if you'd like to see how I created this look and had lots of fun doing it, then stay tuned. All right, so today I'm gonna to start off where we always start, which is with the sunscreen. And I'm going to use the Rin uh, Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30. And uh, this is a sunscreen that I have enjoyed quite a bit um, over the last couple of weeks. And I started actually using this as a trial size in like a Sephora Favorites type uh, package. And then, um, I enjoyed it so much that I took the plunge and bought the full size. So um, it's been a really nice sunscreen. Has a little bit of tackiness, but that's that's okay. I find that okay with um, with the um, with the foundation and the primers. So it doesn't seem to affect the performance of the makeup. So today, um, let's see here. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier. Uh, pure canvas primer this is a really great blurry primer and you know anything Laura Mercier is gonna just be oops, it's gonna be just um, just a great quality so we're gonna use that to try to blur out a lot of this redness hyperpigmentation blur the pores I am going into the Tarte uh, timeless pore smoothing primer I don't know why these long names on products I can never remember them I get the words kind of interchanged and mixed up so I'm gonna use the soap and glory uh, kick-ass all-day wear uh, foundation and this says it is sweat proof and it's 24-hour wear so um, I enjoy this foundation because it is kind of more of a cool toned um, foundation I mean I think this is a pretty good match and I didn't, I didn't do anything fancy. I didn't do a little foundation cocktail or anything. Um, I just wanted you to see how this performs all on its own. Um, today, I think I'm just gonna use, because it's sitting in here, um, the Milk uh, Matte Bronzer. And this is in the shade Baked. My little bronze applicator's getting kind of gross looking. I need to kind of wipe this down one of these days, but gonna go um, along this upper this lower cheek area here swiping across the forehead and then along the chin look at that and then I can just use the same thing here and now and if you noticed as I was doing my face I stayed in this area and then Kind of push back towards the hairline you know with the chin and the jaw i'm going to bring this down i never want to pull this up into my face i want to bring it down so we're trying to create that shadow down the neck same thing over here kind of blending a little bit but then bringing the brush down this is the complex culture um contour brush fluffy contour brush and let's see here what are we going to use oh Let's go into this guy. I haven't used this guy on camera in a bit. This is the Natasha Denona uh, Contour Sculpting Powder. And this is a great powder. It goes on super smoothly. It blends out. It's got great pigmentation. It's just, it's a great color and um, it's super easy to use. So I'm just gonna apply that. And it, it might seem a little strong at first, but just work, work it out. Blend it out. Well, I'm in week three of my low carb journey, lifestyle change, whatever we want to call it. I hate to call it diet, but um, I just kind of really want to give those foods up and, um, you know, but do something in a sustainable way. So, like last night, I stopped at Trader Joe's and I picked up an assortment of berries and um, I did kind of douse them with a little bit of Splenda to enhance their sweetness but that was just kind of my after work snack slash dessert and it was very satiating yes it was probably some carbs and sugar in it but it's better than coming home 
Anyway, it's better than coming home and eating cookies or cupcakes or things like that. And so if um, eating berries once or twice a week keeps me kind of on this low carb path, you know, that's what it takes because this is about sustainability. So I think I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Age Rewind sitting here and why not um, anyway it's about sustainability and um, you know doing things that help you stay on the path so uh, that is that is my concession to the low carb the other thing that I will do is um, use like an almond butter but you know just a spoonful or so here and there again just to kind of um, act as kind of a little bit of a dessert really meant as just a treat and a holdover for you instead of um, as part of your daily as part of your daily uh, diet I'm just gonna grab the bare minerals um, this is the mineral there the uh, hydrating mineral gel powder it's become one of my current favorites I just like reused this the other day a couple weeks ago and uh, just to kind of try it and I was like oh, I really like the finish of this so this has been in my current rotation ever since then um, I'm just going to use the Urban Decay primer potion for the lids and um, I'm going to show you the palette that we're going to attempt to use I say attempt to use because you know um, I'm not going, you know me, if I'm not happy with the way a product is uh, performing or I'm not getting everything I need out of that product, I'll jump over to a different palette or I'll jump over to a different product. Um, I'm not going to just try to make something work that, that isn't working. So, I've got like a single hair on my forehead trying to bother me. So, these are the two new products we're actually going to use today. This is the Too Faced Papaya Pop palette and let's see if I can get that to, can you see that? There we go. That's the eyeshadow palette and I'll open these up. And then this is the uh, Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer Highlighting Duo. So um, the duo, I'm gonna show you, it's called Toasted Pineapple and the other one, this guy. And this is the Pineapple Sun, uh, Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer. I couldn't find that guy. Because I wanted to show you the comparison. So let's see here. Okay, the outside packaging is, I think, identical. It does have like a stronger golden highlight, whereas this one is kind of more of uh, a, a lighter champagne. And then the bronzer looks a little bit deeper. So that is the difference between those two. This is the old one that looks kind of, you know, more neutrally. And then this one, like I said, is more golden. And I think the bronzer might even be just a tad deeper, but maybe not. If there's a difference, it's very, very subtle. Very, very subtle. But obviously the bigger difference is this more golden highlight. So I don't know, like if you already have this one, you know, I don't know if you really need this one or not, but going on to the pineapple pop. Um, so this is the colors here. And so look how pretty that is. Um, this end one, is that a, okay, no, that's a powder. Okay, this is a really nice buttery uh, neutral kind of transition shade here. And then you've got these two kind of berry shades. And then this is like the more papaya-y shade. And then two very kind of shimmery foil. This one is almost a foil. This one, is that a foil? That's a shimmer, that's a shimmer. And then um, this more matte pink one here on the end. I think I'm gonna start with this, this, um, neutral color back here and it's called bikini optional it does have a mirror but it doesn't you know these palettes don't go all the way back it sits up so i'm actually going to try to use this mirror instead of looking in my other mirror because i feel like um i feel like i don't look straight on when i do that this is a nice neutral shade i'm enjoying this pretty pigmented and um, for my skin tone, I think this is nice. I mean, I don't think it comes off too, too yellow. I think it really comes off very neutral. I always, and look, I'm using this mirror instead of the palette mirror, because I forget. Sorry, guys. I'm just pointing out the edges of this, uh, this neutral transition shade. Look at that. This is a really palleted, uh, palleted, really pigmented shade. 
Um, so they have this papaya color here. Oh, I might go into this pinky color here. That pinky color is called Papaya Don't Preach. So I'm probably going to go into this pinky, pinky color next. Let's see what happens. Do that. I always do a little shake off because this is a kind of a powdery shade. Let's see what kind of color payoff we get with this light pink color. It's not the lightest. The lightest is this one down here. This is like the second lightest color. So, the other thing with this palette is it's those long skinny uh, pans and I kind of like a round pan or even the rectangle like the kind of chunky rectangle ones. I mean I, this is not a reason to not use this. I think it's fine but I'm just saying what are your guys thoughts? What do you like what kind of pan shape do you prefer? Do you prefer, um, are you okay with this? Or um, do you prefer like a round pan or a rectangle pan like the uh, chocolate bar palettes have the little rectangles? What are your thoughts? Or Morphe, you know, has the circles. Most people I think use the, the rectangles. Not these long, thin rectangles. I'm talking about kind of the more square-ish rectangles, if that makes sense. Hmm. Kind of into this. really nice. I don't know where we're going to land this, but we'll see. Let's see. Going back in, I am going to go into this deeper, and this one is called Eye Papaya. This papaya, Eye Papaya color is, is, I mean, this whole palette seems to be really nice. I mean, blending out. I mean, super pigmented. It smells, it has that kind of fruity Too Faced scent, um, which is, you know, I like it. You may not like it, but um, I enjoy it. Now there's this dark purple color and I'm like, hmm, do I use that in the outer V? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually swatch these kind of side by side on the back of my hand just to see how they play together. A lot of times I'll do that to see like how some how pigmented something is or something like that. Okay, so that's kind of how they look together. Can you see that? And this purple sort of is um, coming out kind of a purpley brown like a raisin brown, so I think that's okay. That would be okay to use on that outer corner. It's kind of in that same tonal story. This is pretty pigmented when I swatched it. I was like, ooh. So I'm just gonna go lightest in this darker area. Treat it, even though it's, you know, it's this purple grape color, um, I'm treating it sort of like a brown and definitely like I said this brown raisin color so it isn't conflicting with the coral it's nice and I'm gonna use the smudging brush to go underneath as to act like as a little bit of a liner I think but I'm just still working on this outer V area and trying to create um, some depth this is that same pattern I always do I'm gonna to try to step out of it. I was talking to a friend of mine. We were talking about different uh, um, eyeshadow options that um, I could try. And definitely gonna work on trying to kind of mix it up a little bit. And stretch myself. That's the big thing about this channel, is stretching myself too. Growing and learning. I love learning new stuff, whether it's about makeup, whether it's about productivity, cooking, life in general. I'm just so into it, so into it. I feel like if you're if you're learning, you're still you're still growing, you're still being productive, you know. All right, so I am taking the smudger brush and I'm just coming on the underside here. Smudging out that bottom part of the lash line. 
I'm gonna um, put this soft pink color on the um, inner part of the lid, and then I'm gonna go over it with this pink foiled color here. I don't know if y'all can see that. And then I'm gonna apply that to the inner lid. And I kind of want some want the pink uh, foil to have something to kind of grip on, grip against. So I'm gonna take this uh, BH, is this BH Cosmetics? BH Cosmetics Base Booster, and it says Glitter and Shadow Glue. And then I'm gonna take the brush to sweep that across the lid. And then I'm gonna take my ring finger. You know we like to use our finger. Ooh, whoa. So can y'all see that? I'm gonna close my eyes so you can see how shimmery that is. I think that's really pretty. Okay, so I've been enjoying this blush lately. This is the Cover Up X Monochromatic Blush Duo. It is a matte and a shimmer side by side, and this is in the shade Warm Honey. So that's what that looks like. It's just a pretty, very neutral, natural looking blush. So I'm just gonna actually just go both, just go across. So, and then just tap up, tap that on. And I think that looks great with this eyeshadow look. And then I'm gonna take um, this blush brush, this real fluffy one, just go over, try to blend that in a little bit so it doesn't look like I've just um, <clears throat> stuck, you know, spots of blush on my face, make it look very natural and flushed. We are gonna go into this, this is the toasted pineapple, and this is, okay. So Toasted Pineapple is the new one, yeah, that's this one. So I'm gonna attempt to use the highlight side here as highlighter. You know how I feel about highlighter. So is this gonna give me everything I need? We're gonna find out. First of all, it does smell amazing. I'm lucky, oh, ooh. I'm gonna go first to the nose. Kind of into that. Into the cheek. For a first pass, this is really nice. Come right here at the chin. Mm -hmm. This is really beautiful. So, remember when I said I don't know if you need both of these? Uh, I think you definitely need this one. <laughs> you definitely need this one, this new one. I don't know if you have the old one or not. But even if you do, you need this one. We're gonna go into the uh, the bronzer side and just warm that bronzer up a little bit, right above the contour areas. Wow, that's quite a highlight. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna use the Mac uh, Medium Mineralize Skin Finish in natural, I guess, is it E79? I don't know. I don't know if I'm giving you all the right information or not, but that's what that looks like. And I'm just gonna kind of, you know, do this. And I'm just kiss the skin with a big, fluffy brush. Like that. Now, I feel like I need just a little bit more highlight. I was using that very, um, dense fan brush. I want to see what we end up by using more of a diffused brush. And I feel like I need a little something under the brow bone. And I need a little something in the inner corner. So I'm going to use inner corner brush, go into this highlight because you know, why not? You know what guys I just I didn't think I was gonna like this set and I'm like in love with it this is like my favorite thing I have used the new stuff that I've gotten in a long time and then I'll just a touch it doesn't seem too over the top and not that I'm trying to be too over the top but I am going to use the MAC bronze light fix plus just so if I can get a little more bronzy I don't think so. 
was worth a try. And then um, I'm almost out of the Urban Decay All Nighter. I do have backups, but I'm trying to get every little drop out of this because this is not cheap. I did go into this, I used this um, L'Oreal Color Riche and Sparkling Peach. Night, it's 910 Sparkling Peach, just to give a, a hint of color. And then I'm going to top this with this Too Faced um, Gloss in Ginger Snap. I didn't do a liner, sorry guys. So this is the finished look, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope y'all have a great week. Bye-bye.